Hello YouTube, I just thought I would uh, make a quick video, well, I don't know if this will be quick, if I'm going to ramble on, but um, make a video of advanced features that OmniFocus can do. I've I found these features out over a span of, of months, you know, kind of just stumbled upon them. And if you want to know the basic um, the basics on OmniFocus, it's probably best for you to watch, uh, at least for the iPhone, it's best for you to watch a video by iPhoneAlley.com. I'm gonna have a link to their video down below, and yeah, they have they have a video you know of going over the the OmniFocus application for the iPhone. And if you want an overview of OmniFocus for the Mac, which I have as well, you can go to the OmniFocus website, and I think they have they have a screencast there, and just watch all the screencasts because they are well made, you know, screencasts. So let, let, let's get on with it. I don't know if the, the video on the iPhone mentions this, but uh, there's a context section. And what you do is you can give context location. So if you press this button over here, if you press that, what it will do is it will open up a map and have pins to where you have to do items that, uh, that have context and those contexts have location. So you can tell which to do items you have closest to you. This is a really cool way of, of, of doing your to-dos because there's no point of thinking of getting something in a grocery store when the groceries are way, you know, just far out there. But if you're right in front of the art store and you look at your, you know, your pins, I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to do something in this art store. You just walk in and you, and you do it. And yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't know if they mentioned, if they mentioned that on the video once again. Um, I use Mobile Me. Because I find it a very essential, uh, essential service, and um, that's what I use with my Mac and my iPhone to sync everything together. And the syncing is is well done. Uh, you know, any change that I do in the Mac, give it about 15 minutes, it will sync it to Mobile Me you know, to the cloud. And then when I open up my iPhone, it will you know it will do the automatic uh, syncing, and it would pull stuff down from there and then bring it into the phone. And you know, if I change anything on the phone and I sync it, it'll it'll update so so everything is updated with mobile me and I really really like that so if you want to try out mobile me you know you you have the Mac version and the iPhone version and you don't know if you should try the mobile me there is a free version that you can get just go to me.com and there's a 60-day trial uh, I think it's worth a try because it will really change things uh, let's see perspectives oh yes you can go to Let's open up OmniFocus here. You can go to the settings section of it. And what you do is you scroll all the way down to the bottom. And there's there's these experimental things. Uh, top one is landscape mode. Another one is undo support. And the third one is perspectives. Uh, I don't know if you know perspectives or not. But pretty much what perspective is, is uh, there's another thing down there. That's perspective. And whenever I click it, it shows me what I have to do, you know, throughout the day or tomorrow or, you know, the day after, because I have some things that only start at five. So let, you know, just as an example, I have something that I have to do from five to six. So it won't show up as a badge and it won't show up as a do soon because it only shows up as do soon when the start time is hit. So what I do is I look at my perspective and it shows me the whole day. Um, it shows me what I'm going to do at five o'clock, even though the badge isn't up yet. And it's a very, very helpful thing to, you know, to to see what what, what you got ahead of you. Uh, the two super important things that that that, I, that I've came came upon and came across is uh, is push notification. Yeah, it doesn't. It, that, OmniFocus doesn't actually have any push notification, but it uses iCal and Mobile Me to uh, to to send you some notifications. Now let's see. I'll show you how, 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 how it happens. You press the settings and you go all the way down to um, calendar export down here. You click that and you have to mess around with all this stuff. Now my screen looks a little bit different because uh, I, I already you know activated it. And uh, if I'm not too lazy, I'm probably gonna post a video of it myself, you know, just showing you how, how to enable notifications through iCal. And uh, I'm gonna post a link on the 
the forums, the Omni Group forums. Uh, it's called Setting Up Calendar Alerts in Omni Focus for iPhone. So that's what the blog, um, you know, the blog post is called, and it 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 walks you step by step to setting up notification through through iCal. Um, it pretty much works like this. You this is, I think I, I I'm I'm not an expert at this, but what happens is OmniFocus sends an iCal uh, calendar thing <laughs> to to the mobile me, and what you do is you go on your iPhone and you subscribe to that calendar, and that calendar is constantly changing, constantly being updated. So you subscribe to that calendar with the phone, and uh, you set what the what the alarm time is, and you set that to you know one hour, fifteen minutes, an hour, or thirty minutes, or whatever it is. And you will actually get a notification because Mobile Me does push, so it updates your calendar, and um, yeah, it gives you an alarm time. It doesn't. I, I can't seem to find a way to subscribe to that calendar using iCal on the Mac, but it would be really cool to you know to have the ability to do that. But I don't think I need it because well, I have I have the full version of OmniFocus on on my desktop. And um, the last really cool feature that uh, that I just happened to come upon is what is it called? Oh yes, using recall. I don't know if you guys have any idea what recall is, but what it what it is is they have an iPhone application as well as uh, you can go on the web and you launch the application and you can add your voice. So you 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 do a voice note. It sends that voice note to the recall servers, and then it goes from the recall servers, sends it back to your uh, to your phone, or you know, saves it to a website, all transcribed. So somebody in India or Philippines or somebody transcribes it. Maybe a computer, but it's it, it's spot on most of the time. It even gets names, and you know, so I'm pretty sure it's humans that, that do it. But I'm I'm not worried about them finding out what what I do. But anyway. What, what they do is they transcribe it, they send it to me through email, and I have found a way to use that email and add that to OmniFocus um, using, what is it? Uh, I wasn't prepared to, t to tell you guys this, but uh, you go to OmniFocus, you go to Preferences, and then you go to Mail, and inside Mail there is a Add Mail rule to create OmniFocus action. And what that does is it looks for a subject starting with you know this phrase. So for me, it's added colon, and then um, it, it asks you from from which uh, you know which email address would you like to pull it from. So it would find that address, and it would find a subject from that address, pull it into OmniFocus for for the Mac, and then. It would update it, you know, update OmniFocus for the Mac, stick it in the cloud, and then from the cloud, bring it back down to OmniFocus on the phone. So in a span of about an hour, you can, um, you know, you can do a voice voice note on the phone. It will go to your iMac, and then from the iMac goes it back up to the cloud, back to the phone, and you have yourself a voice transcription of of OmniFocus, which is really you know really cool because it's 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 you know it's voice and it's transcribed it's transcribed in text and it's pretty much automatic you know the whole process is automatic and right now i'm using the free version of recall because i have no use for the paid version but um it's pretty much for free recall is for free transcription of voice so those are all the the, the tips that 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 i've come across uh, the whole time I've used OmniFocus for the Mac and the iPhone, and uh, this video is long now.